What's up, guys? What's up, crazy bird? What are you doing? Just put her in her cage. So, I posted a video the other day. You guys know I got another court hearing about the bird. Been trying to cover up some stuff. I moved her cage into this other room. Hasn't been in here. So now, already before, I forgot to clarify in that other video because a lot of people were like, oh, your neighbors, blah, blah, blah. Your neighbors have every right to be complaining. Yes, my neighbors do have every right to be complaining about noise, just like I do. If my neighbors were being super loud all the time, I would probably complain about it too. But she is kept in my house, okay? So when she screams, it's in my house. It's not like she's screaming outside. When she screams in my house, my these windows are from like the 70s. Okay, I don't feel like replacing these windows because I'm not putting the money into the house. I'm just gonna go buy a new house with property. Why would I put, why would I spend 30 grand on putting windows on this house when I need to buy a bigger property somewhere where I have a bigger backyard and I can actually build cages outside. Sorry, it keeps going dark. I'll try to stay in one area. So yeah, I'm obviously not doing that. So for the time being, until I move from here, I'm gonna cover up these windows. So what I'm doing, you can barely hear her outside. So if you're in my backyard and she screams, dude, you can barely hear it. So I don't know how these people across the canal are complaining so much when it's not really loud at all. These neighbors that live right next to me, there's a house right next to me, they never complain. And there's a house on the other side of my house, they never complain either. Or the other people behind me. These people right over here, they're behind, they're outside in their pool all the time. I've never had a complaint from them. I see that guy in the gym all the time. I ask him about my bird. I'm like, hey dude, is my bird too loud for you? He's like, no, dude, I don't care. So the only people that care is that one neighbor. With that said, whatever, I still don't even wanna have to deal with them. I went on Amazon and I bought these curtains. They're 90 inches long, so they're gonna cover the whole wall, top to bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna take these guys out. I'm gonna hang them up in this room. I also have these, uh, somebody commented it's a good idea and I already had a bunch. These are those uh, blankets from, uh, what is it called? U-Haul, just U-Haul blankets. They're like really thick padded blankets. They're very, very dense. So I'm gonna hang those up too. Just the more, the thicker these walls get and the more, absorption sound absorption like cloth and things in the way this cage will help echo things back into my house i just want to pretty much keep the sound from coming outside the house this window right here i got another little sound blanket for that window so that's what i'm gonna do today today i'm gonna i'm gonna hook these guys up i'm gonna set these blankets up and then we'll see if that makes it better another thing that i found a couple people recommended was this avian calm it's just like it's uh, formulated with l theanine it's a compound found in green tea leaves apparently it's supposed to help mellow out your bird a few people were like oh give your bird cbd treats and stuff like that i don't even know if there is cbd treats for birds but it's not a bad idea because cbd is pretty awesome so I'm gonna try this out, see how that works. Maybe it helps her calm down a little bit. A few people were saying that there's like a hormone chip, a hormone something you can get put into her. I don't know, I gotta ask my vet about it. That's another option. But she's really pretty good. I've been putting in her cage more at the beginning of the day because She's getting 10 to 12 hours of sleep at least. And now the cage is on the whole other side of my house. So if I'm watching TV in my living room, she really can't even hear it in here. So she gets a good night's sleep for the most part. So she's getting an ample amount of sleep, which a lot of people were asking. They were like, oh, how much sleep is she getting? She's getting at least 12 hours of sleep at night. So she's getting totally, totally fine with the, in the sleep department. Um, so in the morning, instead of letting her go fly, I put her in her cage first make her be quiet and then once she's had a quiet couple hours in her cage in the morning i give her her breakfast stuff like that when she's been good I'm, i go to the gym come back i let her out for a few hours when she's been good so she has a scream in the morning i let her out let her fly around she gets some energy out and then she's got to go back in her cage for a little bit because i gotta work 
So that's how it is. All right, let's get these things hung up. All right, so don't make fun of me because I know this looks a little ghetto, but it'll look better when I'm done. That old ghetto, whatever tarp I had behind it, I kept that up. And these are those moving pads. They're pretty thick. So like, I feel like as long as there's like, the reason why it was loud before is because I live on water and it echoes. And then this room didn't have anything in it, so there was an echo. So now, more absorption on the walls with these, with these pads and then with these curtains should help absorb the sound from going through this so much. It, it should go, it should be way harder to travel through all this dense material and then hopefully, hopefully you won't even be able to hear her scream when I'm done with this today. So that's the goal. Putting this up, zip tying these things together so it's nice and flush, making it as pretty as I can because obviously this is my house and I don't want it to look super ghetto. So, we're getting there. All right, so that's it for this room. Each, each thing has a moving pad on it. It's got these curtains I got off Amazon. They're like sound deadening curtains. Hopefully that works. Seems like it's pretty thick now. I think I want to go stand outside for a couple minutes and see uh, maybe we can get her to, if I walk outside, she might scream. Let's go out there and see what it's like. All right, let's see here. So yeah, these people right here don't care. They're Canadians. They're here like two months out of the year. This guy next door, he's rebuilding his house. So he's got construction there all the time. He doesn't care. Nobody else cares. This guy's out in his pool all the time. He never says anything. I see him at the pool. Ross lives two door downs. I see him at the I see him at the gym. He says he doesn't ever hear anything. So this is what it is. That's the room right there. You can see the camo tarp on it now, which looks super ugly, but that's what we're working with. You can blame my neighbors for me having to do that. These are the neighbors right here that complain. Hate them. I wish that they could just talk to me like a normal person, you know? like. I have a phone number. They could just call me. My bird screams, be like, hey Tyler, your bird won't shut up. Can you please do something about it? I'd be like, oh yeah, sure neighbor, gladly. Let me, let me do what I'm doing right here. Did that help? I could easily communicate with these people back and forth and solve this problem easily like adults. But no, they have to just be assholes and call the city every time they hear my bird squawk. Just not the way to do it. Dude, I, I can literally, I can hear dogs barking right now. Like, cats meow, dogs bark, birds scream. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Of course, my bird isn't gonna make a noise right now. Nothing. Maybe I should have Kayla scream. I really think that that stuff will help. This guy, Cody, he emailed me yesterday too. He's got a uh, he's got a company. They do like soundproofing for musicians and stuff like that. So he's out of Texas. I've been talking with him back and forth. I'm gonna call him later today. He's got some solutions for me too. Well, she ain't screaming and it's real hot out here. So I'm gonna head back inside. All right, so that's it for now. It's a lot darker on this side of my house now, which is kind of good though. Now my electric bill might not be as high though because my AC won't have to work as hard to get. This side of the house was really hot, or not was really hot, but it gets hotter than the other side of my house. There's a lot more windows on this side. So now we got all the all these curtains up, got more sound curtains for by Tarub's cage. Hopefully you keep your mouth shut. You did a monster. You did a booker. That's that. Look, I even set her up a TV. She's got her own TV. 
put on animal shows and Net animal Netflix and Discovery Channel and Animal Planet and all that stuff. I just got that running for her when she's in her cage, if I'm not here, so that way she's got entertainment. I had a stereo, I had a stereo for her, but I figured, you know, setting up a little TV for her would be even better. That way she has something to visually look at. It's changing, it's entertaining. She actually does watch it, it's pretty funny. So that's it, stay tuned. I gotta go to court in a couple weeks still, so hopefully this settles it down and my neighbors chill out and I'll be able to go to court and present them with all this evidence of things that I've done to make sure that she's not loud. That I am working on it every day. I get it, trust me. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring the testimonies from my other neighbors. I'm gonna be ready. So hopefully I won't have to move. I could just stay here for another year while I save up to get a house. Because number one I gotta get my shop open right now, you know what I mean? Like, I want that, I want my shop open by the end of the year. And that we got two months left, so it's time to hustle. I wanna go to this court date, and then literally, I'm gonna leave and go look at some shops, sign a lease, get building, and get this thing on the roll. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody that's been uh, looking up things to do and looking at the laws and stuff like that. Anybody's got any free time? You want to read Florida? You want to read about the Boca Raton laws? Go right ahead. Let me know stuff that I don't already know. I've looked into a lot of it already, so we should be good. These people are just being assholes. So appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Y'all are the best. Peace.